Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Mr. Coffee espresso machine. So it's a cute little machine. You get a little scoop. The scoop acts as a little tamper also. Here's the porta filter. Here's the filter. Now the filter's got two lines in it. You can do two shots or four shots. And all of it comes out on the bottom in one. This is for getting the coffee grounds out. That's a little lever so you can tamp the coffee grounds out. You gotta have this measuring cup. This is very important because each time you make an espresso, you've gotta pour in the correct amount of water. It's got a milk frothing wand. Moves in and out. This one did come with a milk frothing jug, but yours may or may not come with this. Let's go over dimensions really quick. So it's about eight and a half and about 12 inches tall. And left to, left to right is right around six and a quarter. So up here at the top, this is where you're going to put the water each time. It's a big cap. There's a big reservoir there, but you got to, it doesn't hold a bunch of water. You got to put the amount of water in each time that you're going to brew. Be careful that is hot. There's the big cap. There's all kinds of safety precautions. You've got to watch it. You can't just go unscrewing this because that cap could be under pressure. So here's how you're going to activate the machine. There's a knob. There's a little cutout right here that says off. You're gonna to go to cappuccino or steam, and that's it. It's got a little drip tray here. We can take the drip tray out. Here's where the hot water is gonna come out for the espresso. This little piece comes off for the milk frothing one, makes it easier to clean. It does have a little indicator light here. We're gonna be, that, that lets you know when it's on. Okay, so in the manual and on the side of the machine, there's a bunch of precautions about any time you remove this big cap on the top. This is where the water goes. Before you remove this cap, you have to unplug it. This is very important because you've got to turn this to steam to release the pressure. Now, you may get a little steam come out this little steam nozzle. Now I've got this into steam. Now I can remove this, but if you don't unplug it, it's going to continue to heat the water because this is how you activate the heating element inside here is when you turn the switch to there. So you have to unplug it. Now I can remove this big cap and I'm not going to get steam or pressure in my face. And then make sure you turn it back to the off position. Okay, so this measuring cup is going to be very important. If you're going to do just a two shot espresso or a four shot espresso, and then you've got two shots plus steam. We're going to do the full four shots of espresso. And then I'll do some two shots with, a, with steam. So I got to fill this up with water right to there. I'm just going to measure. Let's see how much that actually is. So it's right around eight ounces. So the, all the way up to the four cup mark or four espresso shot mark is eight ounces. And the two is four ounces. So if you don't, if you lose that, just put eight ounces in for four. Okay. So now I've got my lid off. I'm going to pour this in. Now I gotta be sure and screw this. This is very important to screw this cap on. You wanna get it tight. Okay, it's tight. Okay, so it says to use espresso ground coffee. This is not regular coffee. This is coffee that's ground at a really fine grind. You cannot use uh, coffee ground at a medium grind. If you grind your own coffee, just make sure it's ground at a fine grind. Okay, so I'm going to use the provided scoop and fill it up to the number four line. Now they don't want you to tamp it down really hard. So kind of just, just keep tamping it down as you go. It does it now, it does an okay job tamping. Okay, we're gonna make sure we don't have anything on this lip here. So be careful, the porta filter doesn't sit. If you put it down, it's gonna it's gonna dump over and spill it out. So now we gotta go put the porta filter in. You're gonna start at an angle, coming out to the left here, and you're gonna have to hold the machine and you're gonna turn it until it lines up with the lock. That's a little hard. You want to get it right at about a, a 90 degree angle. See, it's coming straight out. It's at the lock. Don't go past the lock. Okay, so make sure you got your espresso cup in there. 
Now we're gonna turn this knob, and that, that's what turns it on. Make sure you've got it plugged in now. Turn it to the espresso. And you'll see this light comes on. It's gonna heat that water up, and you're gonna manually turn this off now. When, it stop, when the espresso stops coming out, you gotta turn that to off. Okay, you can hear it. It's taken about 30 seconds, nothing's coming out. You can hear it heating the water up in the back. Okay, it's getting ready to do something. Okay, so here we've got our espresso coming out. I'll get a temperature of it. About 160, 163. 17, it's ramping up. Seems like it gets a little hotter as it goes. 182. 183. 192. It's really jumping up quick. Oh, we're almost to 200 now. 203. 210. Wow, that's super hot. Okay, now I got to be ready. I got to be ready and turn this to off. When the espresso stops coming out and you get just a lot of steam, be sure and turn this to off. That's what turns the coffee maker off. Okay, so here's what it looks like. It's a really strong espresso, it looks like. And again, your left, that's really hot. 193, 194, wow, super hot. Oh, Miss Fiona has come to see me. Okay, so now let's take this off. It comes off a lot easier than it went on. Here's what the coffee looks like. It's actually not very wet up there. I was expecting it to be wet. Move this little lever here. This is how we're gonna get the coffee out now. If you take this over to your trash can, well, mine slipped out, but if you keep this lever on, you can beat this out and that puck the puck will come out. That's a really nice looking espresso puck. It is very dry. And then here, be careful, this is real, all really hot. We can rinse this out. Okay, so I'm not able to drink that. That's really concentrated, strong. I'm gonna add this to some milk, make a latte or a cappuccino. Okay, so I've got the machine unplugged. Very important step. Move this to steam, and it does let some steam out. I cannot take this cap off until that is finished. Okay, so that takes about 30 seconds. Turn it back to there. Now I can take this top part off. There I go. Now I'm, now I'm ready for my next one. Okay, this time I'm just going to do a two-shot. I'm filling this up. To, there's a line for the two-shot. And I'm just tamping it down. You don't have to tamp it down a whole bunch. There you go. So this is starting to become a habit. I put it down and it thumps over every time. That is hard to remember, you can't set it down. Okay, so I got the porta filter installed. I've got it filled up to the two plus steam. Dump it in the back. Put the big cap on. Now when you want to froth some milk, you can, you can just froth milk by itself, but if you want to make an espresso and froth milk, you're supposed to start the espresso. This is going to heat the water up, get it ready to go. My light's on here. I plugged it back in. You're going to stop it. When it starts brewing the espresso, you're going to stop it and then go to steam. Okay, so the espresso is starting to come out. I'm going to stop it. Now I've got my milk in my milk container. And now I'm going to froth some milk. Now I'm going to rotate this to froth. And be careful, the steam starts to come out right away. And you're supposed to go in a circular motion. This can take up to a minute and a half, almost two minutes. Okay, so when you're done steaming, turn it back to the middle. And now we're going to finish the espresso.
okay. Okay, so there's my double shot. And now let's add the milk. There's my frothed milk. So I like to add a little bit of syrup to that. Let's add a little bit of vanilla syrup. I stirred it up a little bit. Yeah, that tastes pretty good. If you like a strong cappuccino or latte, it makes a very strong cappuccino or latte. Now it still has a little bit of an acidic, a little bit of a bitter taste still to it. I probably needed to add a little bit more milk and maybe shut the espresso off a little bit sooner. Okay, so let's see how this did. There's the puck. Again, if we want to get the puck out. There's the puck that came out. So if you don't mind cleaning up a little bit of mess and a little bit of extra work with unplugging it so that you can take that cap off, it makes a really hot espresso and a cappuccino. It does come with an instruction booklet. Hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.